What's up guys, Crypto here and today I'm gonna show you how to make a dedicated server for 7 days to die. So what you wanna do first is open Notepad++ or whatever program you're using. Open it and this is what you wanna write in the for the text. So it's gonna be in the description below. You guys can copy and paste it. Only thing is here it should say crypto. You can change it to whatever you want. So it's gonna be your um, world name. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, you can go to file, save as, save it as a batch file, and save it as seven days to die server. Now save it, and you should have a file like this on your desktop. Open it. It should say starting seven days to die dedicated server. So it's working. You can close this. Now before you can join your server open your web browser close this um, wait before that go to CMD open CMD type in IP config press enter um, you should see this default something just copy that IP right there press enter username should be admin password should be admin login go to forwarding now mine's already set up I'm gonna show you guys um, service port 25,000 to 25,003 IP address once again go to CMD should be your IPv4 right there paste that there then protocol all status enabled save you can close this you can close also this actually um, go to Google type in what's my IP and then you want to click on this and you want to give the IP to your friend so that you can connect I'm not gonna show you guys cuz I don't want my I don't want to get DDoS so just share your IP with your friends family blah 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 and they will use that IP to connect to your server now uh, let's open seven days to die so you're gonna want to log in and go to connect sir to server you want to write your local IP should be the same as me unless you're on a Mac so port 25,000 just click start <coughs> should load and press enter oh shit as you can see I already have people on my server son of a bitch and uh... yeah I don't think there's any glitches with the console there shouldn't be so uh... yeah this is how to make a dedicated server pretty easy um... hope it helped and I'll see you guys later bye bye